<laughs> a breakfast fit for somebody leaving home. I've been waiting for this day since you were born. I couldn't even sleep Mom, last night. Mom, why are you so loud? You sound like Mary Poppins. Girl, hush. Now, are you packed? We're leaving in an hour. Mom, do I really have to go? Like, this is inhumane. I just spent 12 years in institutionalized learning, and now you trying to send me back? Like, that's really not fair, bro. Like, let, let me help you out, bro. Like, for real. Now, stop being ungrateful, Josie. Do you know how many children would die to go to college but can't because they don't have the money? Sure. Yeah, you, you, you know, Chelsea. Chelsea, when I was growing up. Oh, mom, 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 please, please, just save the speech. I'm gonna go pack the car. Mwah, drink that. She's crazy. You, you go pack the car. Crazy on your mother. College is a great thing. You're gonna be out on your own and you get a chance to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Girl, as soon as I save up some more money, I'm gonna be there too. And you know we gonna be roommates. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yes. perfect. We've been together nine years. Like, it's gonna be weird not having my best friend there. I knew this day was coming, but I just didn't expect for it to come this soon, you know? What am I gonna do without my best friend? I'll be there sooner than you think. And we're still gonna talk and text every day. You better not go to college trying to replace me. I'm gonna send you a picture of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's cute. I'm gonna put it up in my room, too. Girl, it's not gonna be for you. You print it off on a color printer somewhere, and you make two copies, okay? And you pass it out to all the cute <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> I know, and that's what's scary about that comment. Girl, <laughs> that oh my God. You ready? Uh, hey, Marcy, how, how's your mother? She's good, Miss God. We will send her my love. Um, Chelsea, come on now. Or you think it's going to be a few hours. All right. Girl, it's about to get real. You're on your way to Lewis Tyler University. Ugh. Girl, life is about to start. And everything you thought you knew, girl, is all about to change. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm afraid of. Girl, you're gonna be fine. I don't think so. You cannot park there. I can park wherever I want to park. I am the executive, to the, ex executive, I'm the executive assistant, assistant to the, the president, president of the college. college. Yes, Mom, we know. I park wherever my car stops. Now, now, come, 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 come on, Chelsea. Now, I I'm so overwhelmed with joy. Well, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with, I'm overwhelmed with depression and grief. Honey, would you come on and give college a chance? I'm sick of your attitude. Do you know? 
the strings I had to pull to get your tuition with? I didn't ask you to do that. You always do this. Do what, you Kelsey? You do these things. And never once did you ask me if I wanted to go to college or what college I even wanted to go to. I am doing what's in your best interest. No, you're not. You're doing what's in your best interest, Mom, or the interest of your little friends. Let's go. Oh, I, if you, you know what? It, Oh, this brings back memories of my alma mater like Atlanta University. Oh, 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 Mom. Mom, there's, there's no privacy. There's no space to move around in here. Chelsea, that's what college, the culture of college life, it's about bonding with your roommate and <sighs> sticking it out together. Oh, there's no fridge. There's no, there's no microwave. Oh, no, Mom, let's Chelsea, go. Chelsea, they have diner services. You get up to four meals a day on your meal plan. I will buy you snacks for your room. Oh, you will be you fine. No, I knew you were going to say that. You, I will not you be fine, Mom. I'm Cynthia. God, executive assistant to the president oh. of the college. Uh -oh. And this is my daughter, Chelsea. Hi, hey, nice girl. to meet you. They, she told me that you were already getting settled in. Have you been to bed already? No, just knock yourself out. Okay, great. Have you already registered for classes? Girl, no, I just got here. I just told you that. Perfect, because the registration desk is in the student union, and that's where the Greek stuff show is being held tonight. We can get all the same classes, we can go to the show. Okay, fantastic. So oh, I'll leave you two <laughs> to get unpacked. Yes. Chelsea, I'm so proud of you. Mm. Takes me back to your first day of daycare. I brought you in there and you ripped your Oh, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> She's so funny. She's the best. She's so funny. Well, let, She's so funny. Okay. you two did and anything, you and I'm office. right oh, across the, the street. Yes, that, thank and you, the man. Oh, my God. Yes, so mom. Your bag is up yeah, mom. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my God. I like her. No, you don't. Trust me. Okay. <sighs> Man, I'm tired as hell. You should be. Move that heavy ass bag all the way from the parking deck to the third floor. Well, hey, I'm sorry I couldn't afford movers like you did. But I mean, who, who, <laughs> who hires movers to move from a freshman dorm? I mean, but you know, if my dad had a mega church. I'd probably do the same thing. Man, don't hate, all right? Just, just, just know I'm not calling you Reverend Pastor Bishop Jeremiah Stewart. Oh, man, please don't, all right? Man, I ain't with all that stuff. What you been calling me works just fine. J-Rock, that's cool. Yeah. Well, hey, man, I'm ready for this Greek stuff show tonight. I'm getting laid. Oh, yeah? I'm getting laid. And I'll tell you what, all this holiness that you got going on is going to have to excuse itself from the room. It's going to mess up my flow tonight. <laughs> First day. Dude, it's the first day and you already scheming. Man, I, I see I'm gonna have to rethink this whole rooming with my best friend thing. This ain't gonna work, man. Or you could join me, bro. You and me, together, we'll get all the baddies. All the baddies. I I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? That is a stereotype I will not, I repeat, will not perpetuate about the pastor's kid. I can see it now. Son of local mega church and prestigious ROTC program at HBCU is the campus hoe. And he's a religion major. I don't need that kind of energy in my life right now. Come on, man. You've been dramatic since middle school, but while you're worried about your reputation, I'm gonna be creating mine. What does that even mean? It means they're gonna underestimate me because I'm a white kid. <sighs> but I'm gonna show these ladies, there's a lot of stroke in this ocean. Surfboard, baby, <laughs> surfboard. All right, how about we just go to the step show, huh? Let's do it. All right. But just know, they're going to make me the new mascot for the Energizer Bunny. Because I go on all night like Lionel Richard. Lionel who? Lionel Richard. You know that. Man, it's Richie. What's wrong with you? Don't be confused by the demeanor of sweet sophistication. You brag about your service as to make our feelings hurt. But I'll put Kappa Alpha so cool. was the first to put no, you first. No. Like, Just kind of give it a horrible. try. I gave it a try. It took like two hours. This is ridiculous. I don't want to be here. Hey! 
Hi, I'm Deanna. Hey, I'm Tiffany James. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. This and is you? my roommate, Chelsea. Oh, okay. Um, what are you passing out? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Um, I do hair, nails, makeup, and I tailor clothes. Wow. Oh, You're wow. You're just a jack of all trades, ain't you? Who pissed in your Cheerios? Don't, don't mind her. She's just a little homesick. I will not scared. What? What'd you just say? I'm homesick. You don't know anything about me. You cannot speak for me. I can speak for myself, Tiffany. You don't even know me. Why am I even explaining myself to either of you? Sorry? <laughs> I swear, I swear, I swear. Oh my God. Who is this though? Marcy, answer the phone. Oh, no. You know Purple's my favorite. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know uh, August Alcina? So I'm about to give you a testimony. Girl. Oh, let me stop you right there. Did you just hit me? Um, you got it too. You owe me 20 bucks too. Let's <laughs> kill out. Man. Look, you, you're so beautiful, girl. Like, can I take you out? No, you're not my type. And that kind of hurt it. So, just so we're clear. Walk away with some dignity, brother. I, I, I get it. You know, I'm white. No. And you, it's not because you're white. You just, you're not my type. You know, I'm gay. <coughs> but hey, here my girl right now. She has <laughs> perfect type. Perfect. You owe me twenty dollars. Oh, you owe me twenty. Um, <laughs> isn't she beautiful? My bad, Shawty. You know, I, to each his own. But uh, you don't know what you're missing. I, oh, yes, all, we did. Of, all of this. You know. Hey, girl. You, you know August Alcina? Hey, girl, come here. Oh. <laughs> okay. What did I just miss? Nothing. He was being annoying, so I told him that uh, I was gay and you were my lover. Okay, so 10 minutes ago you was me mugging everybody and now you're just open like a book? That's it. Look, Deanna, I apologize. I just, hmm. I don't like it here. I don't want to be here. It's not personal and I'm sorry. I understand. For a second I just thought you were crazy. <laughs> It's stuck up, but it's not stuck up. Maybe a little crazy. Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me. Just for a second, if I could interject. Uh, excuse my roommate. They what? call me Jeremiah, though. J Rock. Hi, J Rock. Nice oh. to meet you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and hey. I'm Deanna, and you are just fine. Do you have girls running for their money? Oh, okay. Or what? All right. All right. I'm Chelsea. <laughs> are you guys freshmen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. It's He's nice to meet beautiful. you. He, you okay, are I don't beautiful. see it, but that's fine. Hey, Jay Rock. Hey, what's going oh. on, Monica? Oh, wow. Oh, I like those shoes. I'm a big woman. Oh, I know she's Thank you. <laughs> you look nice yourself. Thanks. Um, behind you there, this is Deanna, and uh, this is Chelsea. Hey. You're freshman, too. Hi. Uh, hey. Hi. So I'm running for class president, and my cousin Kiana, you know, the Delta, she's throwing me a kickback tonight. Ooh, great. Then I can pass out my flash for my side business there. <laughs> Please don't. This isn't a swap meet. Uh, oh, so wow. I'll see you tonight, J. Rock. Okay. For sure. All right. Did she just try me? Yeah. Cause I feel like the Lord has been working on me. And if this was me two months ago, the only kickback that would have been happening was up her butt. Okay. All right. Just let it go. Let it go, girl. It ain't worth it. So I take it you ain't going. Oh no no no! I'm going. I'm gonna make that line next year. So let the butt kissing begin. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know her? Um, she's just a member at my dad's church. <gasps> so you're a church boy. I love that. So are they like as wild and secretive as they say? Okay. Huh? Bye, J-Rock. No? <coughs> All right. Hey, J-Rock. Hey, what's going Thanks on? Thanks for coming, I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, it's a dope party. So, what you drinking? Light or dark? Water, and it's all gone. I don't, I don't drink. Come on, I don't drink. Cute and responsible. I like that. Nah. So, hope your girlfriend's not tripping while y'all partying tonight. I, I don't have a girlfriend. Too bad. You definitely have a lot to offer. <laughs> well, thank you. Right now, I'm just focused on education and ministry, you know? I don't really have time for relationships. But, I mean, again, it's in God's time, you know? 
You sound like a walking Joel Osteen devotion. <laughs> no, but I'm serious though. Like, no drama. And that's, that's all relationships bring. Right now I'm just focused on my degree and then I'm on mission to take off in my empire. Let's see. I feel you, but all work, no play, that's not good either. Here, drink some of this. No. Come, no, come I don't, I don't on. Drink. Boy, drink it, okay? Yes. Welcome to college. That's a long. Get the stick out your butt. Man, what is this, man? Good old pajamas. I love to keep <coughs> You alright? Oh, it's making me hot, man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. oh, girl. <laughs> I bet they do. You've been twerking all over the place. Okay, I'm not working. Thank you. For who? King of Diamonds. Look, don't be mad at me because you want to sit down the whole time at a party. I don't understand what people come to parties now. They're just going to sit down. It's like, why did you even bother to get... Are you seriously refreshing your Instagram again? Everyone is out. Having a good time, like normal people. Having a good time. This yes. is a good time. Yes. Yeah, it's hot and it's crowded in here. It's like that time for that. All right, Grandma. church going man, so I'm gonna give him to you. You're gonna give J-Rock to me to as a gift. Yeah. You're drunk. No, I'm not. I don't really like J-Rock. Yeah, you do. No, 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 I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? Do you know what? Don't even answer me. I'm gonna make my rounds. Third one. See you later. Oh, and by the way, there's nothing popping on your Instagram except that refresh button. Hey, Chelsea. Thank you for the invite. I'm having a really great time. Who are you? I'm Chelsea. She just met me earlier. Okay. You didn't see I was in the middle of something? Ooh. You know what? Don't even worry about it, yo, because I, I need some water. Are you water. okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to get some water. And you know what? I'll just, you let me know when you're ready to go. Okay. Cool? Yeah. Hey. Thanks for the drinks. I appreciate it. Look, I don't know you. Okay, I don't care to know you. Did you not see I was in the middle of a conversation? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. Girl, the only reason I even invited you was because you were standing next to my man. Who? I'm, I'm, so, I'm confused. I didn't know J-Rock was your man. Uh, 
already been. You can catch a new bird. No, 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 no. Ubers are charging, surging, and taxing. I don't do that. Get back here. Chelsea, Jayra. Let's go. Cock, do not leave with her. Jayra, come back. Chelsea, come back. Do Bye, not, Deanna. Do not slam the door. Do Quiet class, let's get started. I'm Professor Nick Carter. No, I'm not a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get started. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant? to be gorgeous, talented, and fabulous. Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Does anyone know who said that? Stand and give your name, Young King. Uh, my name is Aaron Haley. I'm from right here in the dirty south. <laughs> and uh, Samuel Jackson said that in Coach Carter. So I see we have our class clown, Mr. Aaron. But you are correct. Samuel Jackson did say that in Coach Carter, but Coach Carter merely recited this poem from a well-known artist. Anyone else? Go ahead, young king. Um, my name is Jean-Jacques Louis, but everyone calls me Franz. Uh, the poem was authored by Marianne Williamson. Uh, she's an author, a lecturer, and uh, the founder of the Peace Alliance, which is a grassroots campaign supporting legislation currently before Congress to establish a United States Department of Peace. Excellent, France. I do hear a bit of an accent. Where are you from? I'm from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. I come back to America when I was in 10th grade. Come back? Yes. Um, my parents dreamed of coming to America to seek better opportunities. Uh, since my mother's sister already lived here, she applied for a temporary visa so my mom could come here to have me. She wanted me to be a U.S. citizen. The goal was for my mom to obtain permanent citizenship so she could send for my father. So why didn't your father just come to another place then? Well, in order to get a temporary visa, you have to be blood related to someone that's already here. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother realized she didn't like the culture and we moved back when I was seven months. And you were too young to remember anything? Yes. So my mom sent me to live with my aunt and go to college. I met my roommate Micah here at my aunt's church. We've been friends ever since. We graduated high school together, and now we're roommates tackling college together. Because, I mean, we all know there's nothing more powerful than a black man with a degree. <laughs> <laughs> but why do we always have to use the race card? Isn't any man powerful with a degree? Don't forget about women, too. The days of assimilation and submissiveness are over. I mean, the Bible does say Right, but that's also the same book that said women should be quiet, and I am not one to hold my tongue. I have the gift of gab, and I refuse to lower my intelligence for any man to make me feel better. I value everyone's opinion. That's what this class is all about. Now, Aaron, I did want to state that, yes, it is powerful for anyone to have a degree. But for a black man in America, they have to work twice as hard because of prejudice in this country. But... 
Isn't, isn't racism becoming extinct? I mean, all those racist idiots are dying off, right? Aaron, don't be ignorant. Racism is very much alive. You don't know about all this police brutality that's been going on around here? I've experienced racism in my own country. In fact, there's a, a huge war going on between the Haitians and the Dominicans right now. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of political corruption, uh, economic disparities. The change starts with us. Mm. Amazing. Well, France, welcome to America. And class, welcome to my classroom. And welcome to this historic university where we will dig deep into black culture while giving you a grade A education. I myself am a product of an HBCU, Clark Atlanta, and it is my goal to transform your level of thinking. Like the church says, you will not return home the way you came in. I promise you that. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Hi. Hi, Professor Carter. Yes. Yes, you're a new. I'm Cynthia Scott, executive of the Houston President oh, of the college. Okay. Yes. My daughter Chelsea's in your class. I need to speak with her for a moment. You can get her for me. Um, sure. No problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Chelsea Scott. Chelsea Scott. Chelsea Scott. Your mother would like to see you. Oh, I wish I had my mommy to come check on me. <laughs> Bring home the key from Carter. <laughs> hey, Professor Carter! <laughs> okay, all right, y'all, quiet down. Quiet down. Does everyone have their textbook? I see a lot of you didn't even bring paper and pencil. Are you serious? You're gonna be popping up all, I, all of my classes to ask me stuff like that? Okay, listen, Chelsea, I'm doing this for your own good. Now, your father. Oh, Mom, you, please. Please, stop. I'll do it. Choice do I have. Okay, fantastic. Come by my office after class and I'll introduce you to her. Okay? Love you, mean it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 I didn't catch your name. I didn't give it. Well, my name is Micah. And that's usually when people say their names. Oh, are you, are you asking me? I'm not a dog, I don't respond to hand gestures. Oh, so you one of them. What's that supposed to mean? Like one of those sister soldier feminist types? So, because I have standards, I'm a feminist. Do you even know what a feminist is? Just stop, please. I get it. Get what? What you trying to do? I get it. And I apologize. Let me start over. Hello, my name is Micah Thompson, and may I have the pleasure of knowing your name. Hi, I'm Tiffany James. It's nice to meet you, Micah. That's a nice name, like the man in the Bible. Exactly. Beauty, brains, and knows the Lord? Now that's attractive. <laughs> Listen, if you're not doing anything, you want to go to the cafe? Sure. After you, my lady. You can cut it out. Now if you want chivalry, I can give you chivalry. Let me take your books. Your chariot awaits. Professor Carter. Oh, hi. Hi, Dean. How are you? I see that you let your class out 25 minutes early. Uh -huh. I assume today's lesson was productive and that you gave them a jump start on their homework. Well, I didn't want to just dive into assignments on our first day, so I still have students that are trying to enroll. 
Professor Class does not stop because of students having financial problems. We are all adults and have responsibility. Remember, tuition is $10,000 per semester, and with the average freshman taking seven classes, that's about $1,400 per class. I'll keep that in mind. Look, I know you're new, but remember, you are here to be an effective educator, not their friend. Dean, are you questioning my teaching methods? Don't take it personal. It is my duty to keep a close watch on all new faculty members. We have a reputation here at Lewis Tyler University to make sure that each student is getting the most out of their education. Dean, I assure you that each of my students will get a high quality education. Our methods may be different, but the end game is the same. I think you're taking it personal. This is business. As Dean of Students, I have an obligation to make sure that each student graduates with the necessary skills to make them marketable in today's society. If that makes me strict or the bad guy, then I will wear that badge with honor. Over the last two decades, I've seen all types of teachers come through this university. Some good, some bad, and some with motives of their own. I'm a very good judge of character, Mr. Carter. And just know, if you ever need to talk, I am here. You can trust me. I have your very best interest at heart. Well, thanks for stopping by. I, uh, I got a class to teach. Hmm. So y'all done with classes for today? Yeah, man, I'm about to go to the library. I'm surprised you know what a library is. <laughs> Man, <laughs> all this shade you're throwing at me is not becoming of you. So wait, you have homework already? Uh, nah, that's just where all the pretty girls be, man. Ain't nothing like a smart girl, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, you need one to balance out all that ignorance. Hey, ignorance is for the unknown, baby girl. And I'm fully aware. Yo, uh, J-Rock, I need to, uh, bar your room for uh, a couple hours. <sighs> God, am I gonna need to throw that oil when you leave? Hey, when I'm done, you ain't gonna have no oil left, brother. Oh. Damn me up. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> you can't stand us sometimes. No, y'all are cute, though. You know, like brothers, kind of. Yes, yeah, my boy. So, what's up with you and that girl, Monica? Nothing. You just like friends, you know. Mm. Nothing more, nothing mm, less. Yeah, uh, you know. Just saw you guys at the kickback. Laughing and leaning on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I right, look. We had a party. You having a good time? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You about some shots. Mm. You know, dizzy, but it's nothing more than oh, that. Yeah. You know? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah you, know. you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Blame it on the alcohol. Hey guys, this this is Layla Lee. She's from Selma, Alabama. She just transferred in. So it's J Rock and Deanna. Hey girl. It's nice to meet hey. you, Layla. Chelsea's been showing me around. This campus is bigger than I originally thought. Oh yeah. Uh, where'd you transfer from? A community college back home. I needed a change of scenery. I was getting into too much trouble. Mm. Uh, okay. I feel you. So what kind of trouble did you get into? Deanna. What? I'm nosy. Go ahead. Oh, it's all good. Um, people back home are so closed-minded and ignorant. My high school even put me in anger management classes because I was always getting into fights. Hmm. Maybe that's where you need to be, Chelsea. <laughs> but, uh... I never met a Korean from some Alabama. I mean, that's as black as it gets. <laughs> I'm not from that place. Uh, I was born and raised in Queens. So when I was six, my mom remarried, and we moved back with him to his home in Selma. Hmm. I didn't even know Koreans lived in Selma, like. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, I I'm sorry for all the ignorance. You got to excuse my people. Actually, my stepfather's black. Ah, uh, OK. Well, got that it. changes everything. I, I just never heard of. A black and Korean couple. I mean, I've seen interracial couples, but never black and Korean. Was it hard to adjust? Yeah. Well, I was bullied a lot, which led to me fighting all the time. I promised myself I wasn't going to take shit from nobody anymore. Amen. I'm sorry you went through that. Don't be. It's all good. All that matters is right now, and right now I'm focused on getting my degree. I don't have time for that drama anymore. Amen. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Hey, J-Rock. What's up, Monica? You know, coming over here just reminded me how bad I need to get a pedicure. You look like you're real good with feet. Excuse me? No need to get hostile. Take it as a compliment. That is out of line, Monica. 
Girl, your shirt is out of line. Did Goodwill have a sale? Is <laughs> he really trying to take it there? I'm surprised they let into the cafe. The student accounts accept your EBT card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I yeah. like her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, Connie Chung. <laughs> Come on, let's go. That's out of line. She mad. She mad. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Man. It was. Man, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can't let it get under y'all skin. Man, man, whatever. Look, I gotta go. All right, my dad's class letting out, so. I didn't know your dad taught here. Yeah, he's an ROTC instructor. That's yeah. why I came here. Uh, you know. That's well, why I actually, go. you could take that. I have to go too. It was really nice meeting you. You too. E B T. <laughs> Yes. I like her. All right, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs> you did that. I can't even lie to you, girl. Come in. Oh, so you're still here. Dean Geneva, my favorite. I thought you'd be gone by now. So, how was your first day of class? Interesting. Let's just say these freshmen are going to have me on my toes this year. Oh, well, we could all use a good challenge. Yeah. It gives us educators something interesting to look forward to each day. It's not the kids that I'm concerned with. It's this micromanaging that I hate. Dean Gretchen is a piece of work. And these nice, nasty emails, they have got to go. I am trying my best to remain humble about it all. That's just how she is. Trust me, I've known her for the past six years. She's not going to change. Just let her have her moments. You know, this university is pretty much all she has. Mm. I think you shouldn't take things so seriously. Just keep doing what you're doing. I think you're doing a fine job. Just keep engaging the students with thought-provoking questions and challenge them. Challenge them more and more each day they walk through those doors into your classroom. You got something she doesn't have. You got the respect of those students. You're right. I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. My focus should be on my students and not her. I, mean, I almost feel sorry for her. Why is that? Does she have a life? You see her every day. First one in, last one out. I mean, doesn't she have a family to go home to? Well, as far as I know, she lives alone. Mm -hmm. But she has a daughter which passed away a few years ago oh. from a drug overdose. Wow. Yeah. That's awful. Addiction is serious. Well, it wasn't an addiction. She's a freshman and she went to a rave and mm -hmm. they had some party drugs and she took that. And that's pretty much all I know. That had to be devastating. Yeah. yeah. I just want to instill into my students the importance of staying focused and surrounding themselves with the right people. Association creates assimilation. Oh, I like that. I'm going to use that quote wise words from a young man. Well, I am learning from the best. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get something to eat. My treat. Well, well how can I say no to that? Oh, you can't. <laughs> oh, and I know a good bar, too. Huh? I think you can use a good drink. After you. Okay. Hey, so listen, you are so beautiful. You are definitely a ladies man. <laughs> How can I be your man? You don't even know me. I'm trying to get to know you. Why you got this wall up? I don't have a wall up. We just met all of 20 minutes ago. And my education is my only priority. It's mine too. I just know how to balance. I mean, this is kind of like our first date. Boy, we're in Burger Wednesday in the calf. This is far from a date. Well, what you doing Friday night? Biolabs. What about Saturday? Internship at the Cancer Research Center. So when are you not busy? <gasps> Let's go to church Sunday. Church? For what? That's the only time I'm free. You can either come or not, but I extended the invite. Aye. I mean, you know, most people do the movies or dinner or the park. 
And you want to go to church. I'm not most girls. I don't want this. <laughs> Do you know how much this Spendy bag costs? Of course you don't. Girl, uh, now you know she doesn't know the value of anything outside of Target. <laughs> Target? Ooh, I'm so sick of y'all. You are nothing but low-class trash. Oh, am I? And what are you looking at, Kung Pao chicken? A desperate shell of a woman? <laughs> I know you better watch your mouth. Layla, or what? move out the way. These some... Oh, that's real funny. It is. Oh, it is. Real, now. real hey, funny. What? Hey, Push me again. It. Stop Try it. it again. You're both unbelievable. This is not a reality show here. The trifling thoughts of Tyler University. Now look here, y'all can either have a seat right here, okay? And I mean right now. Oh, y'all can hear. Either you can have a seat here, or you can have a seat at the dean's office. Girl, maybe we should sit down. Yeah, Miss Probation. Girl, sit down. Are you really doing this? You need both. Your mama need both. Now sit <laughs> hey. down. <laughs> sit it down. Okay, sit it down. Shut it up. And cut. Now look. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm Chef Mosley. This is my cafeteria. Not the set of the Jerry Springer show. School just started and y'all already acting a fool. There are no bullies in college, ladies. You're sitting up here fighting, you don't even know what you're fighting about. And I thought you were intelligent enough to not be doing something like this and acting so stupid. You know what, Chef Mosley? You're right. I want to apologize for my actions. Chelsea, I am so sorry that you never had the experience to, you know, have the finer things in life. Oh, God. Everybody's not blessed. Hello. And I should have remembered that. Look Until here, then. Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore. You two, y'all need to find a way of working this out and stop being just so evil to each other. Tell that to Look her. here, look, listen. You are young black queens, all right? Not you. And you should be conducting yourselves <laughs> as such. This senseless violence has got to stop, all right? How do you expect others to respect Black Lives Matter if you don't have any pride within yourself? Because they better. With all respect, Chef Mosley, what does that have to do with anybody here? It has everything to do with you. Both of you two are headed down the wrong path, and y'all need to get y'all stuff together. All right? Do you know that suicide is the second leading cause of death of college students? And it's all a result of actions and factors such as bullying. You're right, Chef Mosley. I'm embarrassed. I am. Chelsea. You should be. Chelsea, I'm going to buy you a bag, girl, yes, so you can experience so nice. the good. Monica, yes. you can take that bag and you can shove yeah, it up. Yeah, no, ain't so going to be no shoving up in here until I shove y'all up out of here. Shut it up. Man. If I hear about this one more time, I'm going to report you to the dean. There won't be. A next time. Are you like a witch or something? You just pop up everywhere. Ladies, follow me. You are suspended. Just now. Hi, uh, this is my roommate. What's going on? What about second chances? Uh, there are no second chances with Dean Gretchen. Good seeing you, Dean. Call my mom. What the heck? See, I thought you knew. With Dean Gretchen, she lives by the motto. College is for education, not socializing. So what time are you gonna be ready on Sunday? Micah. I know, I know. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm one of the mall to mall kind of job. I mean, this is no different. I mean, this degree is for all of us, so Mama's gonna beat this. I promise you that as soon as we finish paying for these medical expenses, I will work day and night to build the college. Dad, Dad, you don't have to do that. 
okay? Mom's chemo is gonna work, everything's gonna be okay. That's the top priority right now anyway. What is the doctor saying? Your mom is doing fine. The cancer's almost gone. You know she's a fighter. <sighs> okay. I love you too. Jeremiah, where were you last night? I went to a party, sir. A party? Look, you didn't come to college to goof off. You do have priorities. Now, I don't mind you having fun and going out, but did you or didn't you have somewhere to be last night? Yes, sir, I did. And you chose to go to a party instead of coming to a revival. Sir, I'm sorry. What are excuses? But, Dad, I... Jeremiah, what are excuses? Excuses are tools of the weak and the incompetent, sir. Use the monuments of nothingness, sir. Those who excel in it set them excel in anything else but excuses, sir. Get your head in the game, son. If you plan to follow in my footsteps, be a great pastor like me, your word is your bond. Yes, sir. Stand up straight. You're in Atlanta now, and you definitely don't want these broke wrist men thinking you roll the same way they do. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to get my bag, and me and you going to revival. Yes, sir. Let's go. 